Right, so you're looking at what was step 16 from last night. So tonight we're going to try and get on with attaching the rear section. So it's the rear, rear arms and I've laid the bits out there. This thing gets attached to the buggy and then we build the rear uprights. So I've already gone ahead and laid these bits out and then we put the uh, there are the uprights on each side over here and we we attach that to the buggy itself lots of greasing lots of ball bearings lots of fiddly bits I've laid those bits out so that's the that's the target for this video although the first thing I'm going to do is um, I've already had removed the screws here from the from the housing for the motor and I'm actually going to attach this um, heat sink to the motor so I probably should have done that before I put it on. Didn't know you couldn't put it on afterwards, so I'm going to do it now and we'll see how it looks. So that was easy enough. I just took the uh, motor housing off and fitted the heatsink onto the motor. It was a nice snug fit, but that's on now. Nice little upgrade part, so that's on there. Uh, I've built what is the first part of number 17, and then this is going to go on the back. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that on now. So that's now mounted on, you can see nice and loose. I imagine these are going to be attached together when I now build the next two steps. So we'll go ahead and do that. Well, these two rear uprights were very easy to put together, but the next step is the, uh, is the big one. This is attaching it all. Bits are laid out. Let's see how we get on. So there we have it, not bad for a night's work. The heat sink is on and we've mounted all the rear stuff, whatever this is, there we go. If I, if I turn this side, you can see that side moving, which is nice. Um, looks pretty good, it's starting maybe to look a bit more like a buggy now. And what I did manage to do is I was I can do it with one hand. I'll turn the prop shaft. You can see the motor turning, so that's all engaging in the gearbox. Just see the motor turning there. I was turning all of this as well, but testing the four-wheel drive system. So yeah, looking good. Next up are the uh, oil shock absorbers, which is going to be quite involved. So <clears throat> not sure when I'll get a chance to do that, um, but I'll take some videos when I do.